Hello everyone in the beautiful YouTube universe. We have not been live in one month. We were just discussing this. It's been one, one month, month since we went to <laughs> live. <laughs> Something just Siamese chicken. What is the lyric to that? It's not Siamese chicken. I don't know. There's something it's... about a salad too. There How... is a Siamese chicken line in there somewhere. Is there? I think there is. I think it's wow, Chinese. We just, Ch we, it's Chinese chicken. We usually take a few moments to completely derail. That was immediate. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it's been about a month. Our last live was with Brian Wampler. If you haven't seen that, it's really great. It's a couple hours of jamming, hearing his story, talking about his circuits, all that stuff. So we're back, and it feels good to be back. How are y'all doing? How are you, Addison? I'm good. I'm car hunting right now, so I'm as good as you can be looking for a car in this current climate. Car cars are hard. Yep. They're hard. How they are you, Nick? I'm good. You just got a new car. I got a I got a minivan. It's I'm a season a, of yeah. yeah. I'm living the minivan life. It's what, got what uh, pushed you there as a family? Oh well having a a third child definitely was a big proponent in that. Yeah. So yeah. I have some friends though that have four kids, but they want to stay cool. No. Nah. And they keep driving SUVs and saying they have space. I gave Dang. up on that. Yeah. I you're, like you're smart. We have like the automatic doors too. So I can be like, dude, I can be all the way still in Target and just the car is like open and ready. I'm you. Just load all the children in. It's the good things in life. It's little things like that that make me really happy. All right. Well, uh Joshua's not in the chat. It's Katie. Just so everyone knows. And we're we're good to go. This episode's called What's New. We've done basically the same exact thing and called it new and notable. We had one called What's in Josh's Mailbox. We're experimenting with these ideas of continual show themes within the channel. I like what's new. It feels good. Yeah. So basically, what's going on? Well, yeah. Let's look at the pedal board down view, and um, yeah, this is what we're talking about today. We have whimsy machines. There are three units. We have Weird Noise, which is, this branding is really cool. All of this is, but this is fun. We have the New Neighbor, if you've ever wondered how to say that. Be proud of yourself if you've said it right. Some 3 Series here, just for modulation and delay. They're not new, but, you they're know. They're notable. They're new to someone. Someone right now has never seen these, so it is new to you. And I just want to draw attention to Lil Rat. Little rat. Can we all say that? How do we say? How do you say little rat? Little rat. Just like that. Little rat. Little rat. Little rat. <laughs> little. Is it, it's like little Sebastian. Yeah. <laughs> little rat. Yeah. Thank that's what we that. have. Um, we have a new uh, segment today, which is uh, basically Patreon question corner. We'll get to that later. We've yeah. rebooted the Patreon. Um, some exciting stuff there. But I think we just. Oh, Fuzzerocious. Sorry. The little fella. So we have little <laughs> little rat and little fella. Nice. Amazing. Something's in the air. I don't know what and it it's is. It's a little. It's a little. Yeah. A month out, y'all. A little rusty. Yeah. But it feels good. It's a all about rusty. a little rusty. It's good to be Man. here. All right. I think we jam. Let's we go it. right into it. Just going for it. What's the first one? Um, let's start. Uh let's start with the new neighbor because I'm gonna use reverb a lot. Because cool. I like reverb. Because it covers up the fact that I'm a mediocre guitar player. <laughs> right. Um, this is new. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's a pink silver sky. It came with a note that's notable. Can you reach it? Yeah. So John sent this, and he sent this beautiful note. It says, Josh, enjoy. Pairs well with JRC4558 chips. Do not use with MJM4558 chips. I cannot stress this enough. Love, John. Makes sense. Well, if John Mayer said it, then I believe it. So this uh, today, if any pedal sounds bad, it's because it has the wrong chip. Yep. Because chips really matter. Yeah. Okay. Let's do the new neighbor Immerse. So Addison, you told me about this before it ever came in. Yep. So we got one of these. What's the deal? From your you you you're a fanboy, right? I'm not saying it's the best reverb pedal on the market Whoa. right now, but it's the one I use. And I've owned a lot of reverb of pedals. I do, actually. This is oh, on my cool. pedal board. Yeah, it's fantastic. It has tons of modes. Um, I do hear some rumors of something coming. I'm not claiming I know anything. I've actually just only seen his social media, so don't worry. I'm not spoiling anything I shouldn't because I literally don't know. But there is supposed talk of 
an immerse style verb with MIDI coming. Okay. Probably in an enclosure this size, maybe a little bigger. Again, literally don't know. I've just seen social media For stuff. For those of us who don't use MIDI, yeah. um, there's nothing wrong with it. I right? just don't use it. How, yeah. does, how big a deal is that to you with this pedal? Well, for me with this one, I wish I had two or three presets with it. Uh, and to, because I love it so much and there are different modes. So there's like what six different modes I think on here It's really intuitive controls. It's all just at the face right of the pedal. So um, for me MIDI would mean I can have Instant recallable presets. I would probably use it something with like a um, Like a morning star little controller one of the disaster area yeah. controllers and have just instant access to like four different presets like you would on a big sky or you know, like a, a DL4 or something like that, how they're just instantaneous right in front of you. So MIDI would be huge for me because I want more sounds out of it. I just have to use my feet live. Yeah, he does really great stuff. We had an old podcast called 20 Questions. Um, episode something is him. It's been a while. That's still up. Probably. If you can't get enough of us, which I highly question and anyone really wants There's, to go listen to anything else we do, but there is like an old podcast. Old podcast. <laughs> it's like a 40 episode season. Yeah. I guess you could say. Um, go through the modes. So you're, I'm mm -hmm. familiar enough, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of his stuff has always sounded amazing. Yeah. Um, I'm really familiar with some of the older units. Mm -hmm. So this one is pretty new to me. Mm -hmm. Let's go through the modes. And then, uh, so we're on, what are we on now? I think you're, oh, you, you can see. You on the plate mode? Yeah, the plate. That's the mode is, I tends use. tends to be my favorite on yep. anything. It's amazing. Yeah, it's real nice. Kind of re reminds me a little bit of the modulate setting on an RV5. Like, it's not the same. It's actually better to me, but it has that airy vibe to it. So, hall. Spring. Whoa. That's really good. I would argue it doesn't drip. It's a different vibe. Don't tell Ryan, but drip can at times be overrated. Uh, Don't tell Ryan. I won't tell Ryan. Cycle. Wouldn't do it. I'm telling you, this thing is amazing. Oh, also, they're on sale right now. They're usually 249 bucks. I was looking on the website to get some info. They're 229 right now. Go buy one. Wow. Yeah. This is sustain. Ooh, so Whoa. like it's an infinite. Probably. Is it? Yeah, I'm sure it is. Let's see. Let's jam on this. Yeah, that's cool. Don't forget to mute your mics. I know it's been a long time.
That's a cool sound. It's really great with a three piece. Yeah. A big buried. That just feels like a sustaining infinite plate. Yep. Band name. Hey. Then there's Echo. Oh. So, yeah, it's, this gets into. I, I use Lil Rat, by the way. Oh, cool. Lil, Lil, Lil Rat. Rat's 69 bucks. Lil That's Rat nice. doesn't take up a lot of space. What kind of chip does it have in it? Who cares? It sounds good. <laughs> Lil Rat sounds just like a rat should sound. Right. Lil Rat. It's little. It's little. So this echo setting is nice. So there's a lot of people, some of you are watching, and you are real big fans of the boss multi-reverb delay settings. Let's admit it. This is going to be that. Nice. It's going to be more tweak tweakable because it's him. So you have a verb in there. So this knob changes yeah. depending on the mode you're on. Yeah. It's just like dotted eighth out the gate. Like, don't even mess with it. This setting should be called Unforgettable Fire. Hold on. I wonder how to make the echo more prominent. Uh, is is there that, a secondary? It's that, no, it's that blend knob, I think. Okay. So yeah, if you... Okay, so that... Oh, that's more reverb. Just turn the mix up. Yep. Yeah. That's Bro. really nice. It's a good delay, yeah. Hey. The pink sounds great, too. Do you guys hear that? I hear the yeah. pink. Yeah. Can I get a little bit more guitar in my headphones? Yes. And then we have... What is this tune? Yeah, Ooh. D tune. It's oh, dope. I'm a fan. I'm a fan already. But then with that blend knob, keep going. <laughs> that riff sounds like the transition in the sitcom where, like, the dad says something disappointing, <laughs> and the little girl like <laughs> walks off. Let's act that out. Let's act yeah. that out. So are you, you're the little girl. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm I'm the dad. Yeah. What? Why did you do that? I don't know. I thought I was just doing the right thing. Don't do it again. And it resolves on the floor, just like. <laughs> and then it's like the next scene, and she's in the park with her friends, and she's like, "My dad just doesn't understand me, Kyle." And then it's like. <laughs> right. If you're uh, working on a show like this and you need some musical know. help, there's a, a tab on our website. It's invisible. You can click that invisible tab and hire us. Yeah. And last setting, you got to have a chimmer. <laughs> you got to have a chimmer setting. Come on, somebody. Yeah. So shimmer, Brian Eno invention in the 80s. It mixes a high octave with the delayed signal. So the clean path is untouched by the octave. That's cool. I'm gonna turn on a little rat, and I have a volume pedal at my feet, so let's see. Let's uh, let's play some wannabe Brian Eno um, music for airports. Yeah. Okay. Uh, basically, that's code for hypnotic slow bass lines in D. Okay. I got you. <laughs> It's just you two at this point.
That's like a... We're talking about buying cars. That's like the commercial for the new RAV4. Yeah. It's like a mountainside... Is that a sign? Do I need to buy like, the yeah, RAV4? Yeah, like buy a RAV4. Okay. That's a thing, you know, it's one of those switchbacks on a California mountain. Right. Tops down. Your dog's in the car. Right. Definitely. And you're just... You're living that RAV4 life. And like the <clears> tagline <throat> is like, the car company is like, if we'd put our family in it, you can know you can put your family in it. And then people buy it immediately because yeah, it's true. That's really their family. It's not a paid actor. No, it's not a paid actor. Ever. You tuned in for this, so this is your <laughs> fault. If you enjoy this, I'm glad. All right, here we go. Uh, next up. Little rat I've already played. Yeah. It is a rat. Yep. It sounds really great. I haven't looked on the forums because I'm busy, but I promise there's a thread wondering if it's right. <laughs> because it's too small to be a rat. Because God knows that the the good Lord made parts, uh, radio parts in only one size. Yeah. And so they couldn't possibly get smaller. So here's the little rat. I'm going to use it all day because I love it. <laughs> Let's fuzz it out. Brighten it up. It chugs. Yeah, a little rat. Okay. Next up. Wait, real quick. Yeah, it's not the LM three hundred eight. Yes, yeah. who cares? Just say that. <laughs> who cares? <laughs> Let me say this. Let me say this. I've said it. If you have, I need to do memes about rat chips next. Yeah, <laughs> we have a cat meme on Instagram that's at like twenty five thousand likes. It's a cat meme about a clone. Really fun stuff. <clears throat> the chip and the rat. It's not that big a deal. Yeah, it doesn't mean it's not great to have that. I'm not saying it's not cool. I'm not saying it is it isn't slightly different. Possibly, it doesn't really sound any different though, in yeah. the context of what you do with a rat. It's everything the, else around it, right? Yes, the LM308 has what's called a really slow slew rate. So it's slew. like the decay and attack, how they, uh, how it amplifies, how it okay. operates. And that chip is real bad, which oh. is great for distortion. Just like the 4558 is a horrible chip. It's one of the worst fidelity chips ever made, but it's a sacred tube screamer chip. Huh. Mind blown. Haven't heard you say that before. Well, yeah, these parts suck. Like yes. the DoD yeah. 250 chip, people, the TLO 71, it is one of the worst chips ever made. Yeah. Noisy. It's like a box of bees that's getting nice. like beat with a hammer. Nice. And so people attach their memories to the year of a pedal which had a chip in it, and the chip has nothing to do with this. So Lil Rat, does it sound good or not? That's a rat, y'all. Sounds real good. Yeah. 60-something bucks. Anyway. Okay, next up. I didn't want to go on a rant about a rat. No, but I the think chip it was thing's needed. so annoying. It's it was needed. It's important. Yeah. Okay, let's give away uh, Hercules stand. Let's yeah. do it. Well, let's do it. Here it is. Folks. We have a bunch of giveaways. We're doing Ernie we Ball do. trivia time later as yep. well. Stick around for Ernie Ball trivia time because there's something special you're gonna get if you special. win strings. We'll today. do a question and then we'll yeah. jam. Cool. Are you gonna ask a question about the 1992 movie by Disney that's called Hercules? Maybe you should just wait for me to ask my question before okay, you ask well your then question. Get to it. Okay, cool. Here's the question. If you're ready in the chat, in Disney's Hercules, who are Hades' minions? <laughs> Go. If you get this right, it's not crazy difficult of a question this week, but I, I know like the answer to this. I like I like those characters in the movie. So let us know. Throw your answer in the chat. All right, we're going to jam on the Lil Fella. Let's look down here at this. The Lil Fella by Fuzzrocious. Really great people. Really good people. Uh, if you've seen the Petal movie, they're in their husband and wife duo. Had a little table by them at a expo at CME one time. So this Lil Fella, 160 bucks, great price for a Petal built 
like this. And it's a versatile overdrive distortion fuzz. It's kind of an update thing on, they used to call it a demon overdrive distortion. I'm going to... I'm gonna play with the knobs and see what happens. So cool. it, it 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 does. You know, he says this does everything. Just overdrive two fuzz. Gotcha. Little fella. Is that a little spider on there? That's a tarantula. A tarantula. Tarantula. Cool. I wonder what the story is behind that. I don't know. Let's turn it on. Ooh. Ooh, that's cool. That's juicy. Let's see. So this is a gate toggle. I always love a good gate dog. I do too. I don't like Gates Barbecue. It's yeah. the worst barbecue in Kansas City. I said it. Sorry. Pew pew. We were just talking about barbecue earlier. Okay, yeah. This is so everything else I have is very much fuzz from Fuzz Rocious. I mean their name is Fuzz yeah, Rocious. It's in the name, huh? This though, this gets into that. That is real nice. That sounds like amp distortion. There's a Dr. Scientist drive that I really love that I've Ooh. never heard anything get close to. This sounds this sound I have it on here. It's just a really nice. Did that just clean up? Oh my uh, god. Snap. Let's do that. Let's do some spring. Let's uh Let's see if we can class this up. I can't not do hammer on chord shapes with a yep. John Mayer guitar. Yep. That is a super cool pedal. That sound. For for the people, what was the Doctor Scientist? Is it called the Elements? Is that what, what that yeah. one is? Cool. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted that's, wanted those that were curious to know. That's amazing. Yeah. Let's fuzz this out. Whoa. It's a filter similar to a rat, but but it doesn't have the. There's a range on a rat that's pointless, which is like a sword piercing through your skull <laughs> right, and the person right. standing next to you. This is not that. And then yeah, Ooh, a little gate. Jam. Jam. I hear this is actually the direction John Mayer is going with with his next album. Um, it is, yeah. It's gonna be like just straight up some kind of weird '90s metal. Yeah, it it's it's that silver chair metal, which isn't metal. Yeah, yeah. I love the gate. I like when gates do that. I like when gates do that thing where 
it like just like a little like harmonic yeah. squeaks out and it's just like <laughs> yeah just this, for like a second so it's like a pterodactyl. this is a really great distortion let me take it as low as it'll go put the yeah. gate off oh i like the gate off <laughs> Crazy, that's all from mm. one pedal. That's yeah. amazing. Little fella, a, there's a story. We yeah. don't know the story. We don't know the story. We'll probably never know the story. Yeah. I mean, we could just ask. We could ask him. We could, but it's the mystery that right. keeps life interesting. The best story is the mystery. Uh. <laughs> I'd give anything for a stinger right now. <laughs> I don't. I don't have anything that does any justice. How good that was. <laughs> uh, hey, did anybody win? Yeah. Who are we, they? We did have they? a winner. Okay, so here's the thing. Our boy, Thorn, has won many of these giveaways, and he was our first place winner again. So, how many times has he seen said Disney movie? It's a great question. Tell us. He's Thorne. also won some strings. Man, He's wow. just your trigger finger thorn. So you, we're going to give you one of but these. But you know what it is. What? He watches lives. He does. He watches lives and he watches D- Disney's 1992 <sighs> he knows. Uh, animated movie, Hercules, on a weekly basis probably just to prepare. You so know he's, who's not a loser? So many. What? Who? <laughs> Thorn. Thorn. Thorn's not a loser. Because <laughs> he's watching Hercules but every everybody day. everybody that didn't win day. that right. is a loser. Yes. Yeah. I mean, if you... you it's I'm being not, literal. Yeah. But hold on. I'm not trying to be offensive. I'm just saying, like, they literally yeah. lost. There's another winner. What? Because here's the thing. I thought, I saw Thorne's name, and I thought, Thorne, congrats, bro. Good on you. You did a thing. But for our other regular viewers, they go, man, Thorne wins sometimes. I said, okay, let's do a second winner. We have more of these. We're going to give it to somebody else. You guys ready for the next winner? Yeah. Let's do it. You'll never guess what this winner's name is. Little rat. Addison Love. Addison Love? <laughs> what? Ah! <laughs> So, Thorn and Addison Love, email vlog at jhspedals.com, and you'll both get. Yeah. Did hey. you create that for me? Uh, can Beck, I, is that you? Sorry, go ahead. That'd be funny if it was your wife. <laughs> right. Addison Love, are you okay if we referred to our Addison as Addison <laughs> Love from now on? Drop it in the chat. Let us hey, know. Hey, and if you aren't, look at me. If you're not Addison Love Come or on. Thorn, don't even think about emailing. Addison okay. Love. <laughs> I'm flattered. Season. Hey, will you talk about your amp today, Josh? What are you using? Yeah, what are you using? What are you using? You never talk about your amp. Never talk about it. Because at the end of the day, is the amp important? <laughs> I mean, I would think some people would say it's extremely important. <laughs> it's a Sobtech <laughs> MiG-50 okay. underneath this table. Yep. So let's do the top down. Underneath you this table. You can't see it, but under this board is a is a laminate wood tabletop. And under that laminate wood tabletop is a metal frame. A metal frame. And under that metal frame is the top of a Softec MiG-50 that Friedman modded for me. And uh, under that head is a Milkman 112 cab that's not even hooked up (laughs) because when we do the live, we want the drums to stay isolated. So my signal's thrown into the corner into some off-brand... ISO cab yeah. from the 90s or something. Yeah, but it still sounds With good. With a 57 on it. Like, we don't even try. Nope. Oh. Yeah. It just sounds good. A little bit of EQ. Sometimes if you try mm. too hard, yep. you know what I mean? Yep. Um, I'll tell you this. Everyone that's ever felt at something tried. Wow. That's so yeah, deep. If that's you work true. that backwards. <laughs> <laughs> just take out the trying part. You'll never fail. You'll never fail. You can't fail at what you never did. Mm. God. <laughs> <laughs> this is like... The an- the anti Wayne Gretzky quote. <laughs> you, yeah, you miss a hundred percent of the shots, shots you, don't, you take. don't take. What's the Michael Scott version of that quote? It's uh, miss, he quotes it and then, and then he and says then he just puts his name. He out says there. great or Michael Scott, Green Gretzky or whatever. Green uh, Gretzky. Yeah. Next one. All right, yeah. Next one? pedal. Tell let's, me. Let's tell cover me this it. brand, Whimsy Machines. So, I think some of the very first. Uh, prototypes whimsy ever did they're over there yeah they're cool he did some revisions cool and i have three pedals here so the short stack this one uh he says so we have a little paragraph here i'll just read it inspired by a weird russian research paper he found (laughs) so wow i'm already i'm already a fan it's an ultra high gain jfet preamp so it naturally soft clips 
like the transistor is going to clip. No diodes, no weird feedback circuits or anything like that. It is basically his version of a booster. It has some internal switches to customize it a bit. Uh, but it's basically two boosters in one. So cascading, I assume. And um, yeah, that's what we got here. That's and cool. short stack. He wanted to call it hot stack, but that was already taken. I like uh, short stack. Short stack is cool. It is. Because sometimes like you it. don't, you know, you want a short stack. Yeah, right. Smaller, right, right, smaller right, portion, right? right. right? Yeah. Is there a pancake on there? What does this, this sound like? <laughs> Forget about the pancake. That's the subject by itself. I'm a little out of tune. Can well, I tune? A little bit. You, you can, can tune. tune. Hey, I got a question while yeah. Uh, yeah, while you tune. Question? Katie's back here sending me some questions, yeah, yeah. so we're going to, for the people out there. Uh, Michael Makara wants to know, he says, Addison, what are your favorite pedals for bass, specifically chorus and compressor recommendations? Um, I'm using a Klon right now. It's not a real Klon. It's a JHS Klon from our history wall. I love that circuit on bass. But you asked about compressor and chorus. The 3 Series chorus, I'm not just saying this because it's, it's our pedal. It may be my favorite chorus ever. Yeah. I'm just saying. Go try it. Super affordable and cheap. I really like it. Uh, and then compress compression, um, we, we compress in the box on LA-2A. I know uh, another one that I really like is the Empress compressor. It's like an 1176 style thing. But I love the LA-2A style compressor. So I believe Union Tube and Transistor is the company name. Mm -hmm. They make an LA-2 style in the box or in a, in a uh, pedal enclosure box that is That's cool. really great. So those are my favorites. That. Yeah. What do you like, Nick? LA-2A is base? a what yeah. type of compressor. Is, uh, it's an, a, uh, is it an optical compressor? Or it's a two. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I think that I bass, yep. bass pedals. Uh, I mean, anything. I mean, I bass is fun because it's just like just try a bunch of stuff on there. Like just try stuff. Rats are cool. Rats are really good. Um, but just any vocals. any fuzz. Mm -hmm. I use rats on drums. Rats are just great. They're amazing. Have you tried the little rat? I haven't tried the little rat. Sixty-nine dollars. I should try it out. Right. We don't get paid to say this stuff either. We don't. Well, technically, y'all are getting paid because you work for me. We're getting paid for a different reason. You're not reason. getting paid yeah. to say things. Right. Anyway. You've told me I could Short, say whatever I want. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> he didn't mention one of my compressors, and I don't care. Oh, I do have a pulp and peel that I'm I love, just, too. You don't have to say that. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay. Really never mind. I don't care. You don't have to like them. <laughs> I do, though. I don't care if someone doesn't like something. It's fine. The pulp and peel has a blend knob. It I does. Think, too. So that could be cool for bass because yeah. people are always wanting Well, I made it for bass. Yeah. Uh, that's yeah. true. Yeah. It also has XLR out, so you could use it, it as a It has a parallel distortion, which is a rat. Dang, 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 yeah. dang. <laughs> yeah. So here is the short <laughs> stack. Um,. Fat boost. Clean. I'm on the neck pickup. Good old flabby, really cool fat distortion, yeah. Let me do the bridge. That's so good. So good. Talk about the big status LEDs. Big old LEDs. These are the pedals. So my prestige is like this. A lot of people will get a prestige and say... This is all the overdrive I was trying to find. Yeah. So hmm. I have an ISO cab and I can turn up really loud. So this is just turning my amp sound into a really nice overdrive. It also says fresh and tasty. So. Ooh, cool. We'll see. That's the tone. Of, that's the tone of going out on the road. That is.
<laughs> we were we were we were all going somewhere. We and were having fun. Didn't that you know. that song is from the Super Bowl '94, and uh, there's a truck and a beer involved. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> that is a really great sounding pedal. So then there's the Jeff. Let's look down here at the Jeff. It's called Jeff. It's like called the, the Jeff. Like a dude's name, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> Uh, so short stacks 229, Jeff is 229. This is a heavily modified big muff featuring FET transistors instead of the traditional BJFs, which, BJTs, which is really cool. Jeff equals muff plus JFET. Oh, got it. Yeah, yeah. Jeff. Yeah, I get it. Okay. JFET, muff. It Jeff. has a, <laughs> a, a boost cut EQ section, so think low, mid, high. Yeah. Low, mid, high. This is going to be interesting. It has tons of switches inside. Let's turn it on. So just from the spec, this is one of the most unique sounds from paper. Right. Approaches to a big muff that I'm aware of. A lot of people will make things on stuff. And it's this always slightly irritates me. If you've watched the show, you'll understand why. Just say the topology you're using. Like some people get so right, hung right. up on like, I use this thing, but I don't want anybody to know. And it's like totally original. I serve it. It's like, yeah, you started with a big muff. But like he could have not told us, but he told us. And now it's right. like, cool. I might, well, this might be you, a good yeah. thing for me that I, I love big muffs. Now I can try this crazy yeah. thing that's not a big muff, but it was like. Yeah. It gives you a frame of reference. So, you yeah. know, like, oh, I know what a big muff sounds like. Yeah, oh, is this different? So many people are just so scared to death to say like, yeah, it's this or whatever. Well, yeah, that's al cool. Already, it's way different than a big muff. But I love that he said, yeah, that's... That's really cool. I'm gonna try to do the the really heavy let's see with a single coil strat it's kind of hilarious Kind of landed that. We did. That was nice. That's pretty good. Oh, ow. Oh, wait. Hold on. I like the job. I got... Wait, my elbow hurt? Oh, did you I hurt your elbow? You I always? hit my elbow on... I think I hit my elbow on Ernie Ball Trivia time. Man, I hope you get that looked at. Man. Yeah. Okay. I was wondering... I was wondering if you were actually serious like maybe you hit your arm somewhere no. along the it's way acting. and drumming that's called acting are you an actor it's now a, right it's a thing that um not everybody is really good at but i am definitely well, good at. here's the thing yeah they're all they're all forgetting that we starred in a worldwide right. musical yeah it's you know 
it's hard to remember all the details about just how like good we are at how stuff. good we are at stuff so yeah. yeah i don't hold it against people i just think that that they're not i don't hold it against them as yeah. in, but i don't forget that yeah. they forgot that's true mm. you know we're actors you know we proved it we've proven it do so you guys well. have imdbs yeah you do well, I have one, but this is the wrong face on it. Right, yeah, that's right. Some random blonde <laughs> some guy that wears glasses. <gasps> that's right. I heard about this. <laughs> yeah, that is. Really but whatever. Funny. Okay. I well, don't let that hold me back, though. What's the special Ernie Ball thing that you're talking about? <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. Yeah. If you stuck around this long, you uh, you're gonna win something real special today. Ernie Ball trivia. That's my favorite stinger, Nick. Just for the record. Thanks. It's my favorite too. I think. Yep. I love it. Um. So Ernie Ball, we love you guys. Thank you uh for partnering with us. You're going to get a pack of strings today and an Ernie and Ball Volt power supply. Boo. Oh, nope, yeah, look way. down at the board here. We, look at this. We use, right now we have four of these stacked. Yep. They're great little supplies. They're amazing. Yep, yep so good. So you're going to win one of these. Uh, cool thing is you can daisy chain them together. Um, there's a there's also an extra option. So it comes with a one amp uh, like a DC adapter. You can get a two amp DC adapter, which uh, just doubles your your output what ability. What if you plug a one spot in to power that? That's a great question. Nope, it won't work. It's got to be eighteen volts. That's the trick with this. So they're isolated, three hundred milliamp outputs each. I'm just giving a little pitch here for the volt. It's really cool. I have one uh, over on my desk right back here. This Basil desk. It's pretty dope. I have one uh, mounted over there when I test pedals. Anyways, on to Ernie Ball trivia time. My gosh. All right, here's the question. Throw your answer in the chat, and if you're first, you're going to get a whole box of strings and a volt. Uh, here it is. We're and after, we're oh, going to jam yep, on it. this King Spark yes. from Whimsy. Love it. All right, here goes. In what city did Ernie Ball host its first ever Battle of the Bands on the Vans Warped Tour? Dang. That's a tongue twister of a question. Go for it. Throw your answer in the chat. And while Josh tunes, we might as well ask another question from the... Uh, the people um what's the best pedal for making your hair grow back and look like addison's asking for a friend couldn't answer sorry uh next question hello how would you compare uh, the compression from an amp at full volume versus what a pedal can do greetings from the french alps they're um that's a good question very different sounds I would say the compression from an amp is better defined as sag, like rectifier sag. It's when the amp is pushed really hard and it's it's at a state of failure. It <laughs> it it actually kind of noise gates a minimal like swell in. And there's a there's a touch thing where if you're picking lightly, it's fine. Like the attacks there, and if you dig in, it actually swells in. And it's this touch responsive thing. Mm -hmm. And a compressor pedal is a very clean, purposefully designed sustainer in most cases. That's a good question. That's a great question. I have had this idea to create a sag pedal for a while. No, it's, it's a really tricky thing to do because I think you have to, it has to be something you insert your entire board into. Okay. And run it as a master control. Okay. So like your overdrives would actually be introduced into a circuit that that sags like a rectifier on it. It's kind of a crazy. Wow. Like, That's a cool it's idea. It's like a dream within a dream within That's a dream cool. scenario. And it's yeah. really overwhelming. That makes me think of modeling stuff and like digital hardware. Uh like, you know, Kempers or Axe Effects or yeah. something, for those that struggle with the way some of those units yeah, feel. that would be a fix. I wonder if that could, that's I a really cool idea. probably could. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Science knows. Science knows. Science knows. Yeah. Anyways, next let's, pedal. Let's play this one. So this King Spark is, it's a Tube Screamer, but it re- he says it resembles a Tube Screamer about as well as a mother-in-law resembles a Glockenspiel. <laughs> and I... Cool. <laughs> Yeah, so there's a tuned, right here, positive feedback loop that's controllable via an expression pedal. Now, I'm just going to turn this with my finger so you can hear it, but if we put an expression pedal on the floor, you could could turn this. So, yeah, let me just, something, you just got to play. Sometimes you got to do it. Just got to do it. All right, so yeah, it's an EQ, volume and drive, right? Volume, drive. Cool. EQ, like, it's a, yeah, just. See here. It's a tube screamer. 
<laughs> How convenient that you had a strap. Now here's where the craziness starts. This tuned positive feedback loop, meaning this is going to essentially like circuit bend this, kind of. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh. That was the squealing. And you can engage this with an expression. Would you like an expression, Phil? We can make no. that happen. No? This kind of reminds me of, like, your Lexi drive. That's so cool. Let's jam on that. That's really cool. That's fun. That'd that would be really neat. cool on an expression pedal. Man. King Larissa, Spark. Larissa gave us a. That's amazing. She gave us a rock on over there. That's right. That's awesome. Yeah. You know you're doing it right when you get the rock That's on. Right. Yeah. All right, we've got a winner. Yeah. From Ernie Ball Trivia Time, our winner is Brian S. Guitars. Congratulations. Send me an email vlog at jhspedals.com. Wow. We'll ship this out to you. And what happens, Nick, if. They're not Brian. And if guitars. you're not freaking Brian, don't even think don't about email. Don't, don't even think about. Don't even. Don't even think about, think about sending an email. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, wait, we, I'm so sorry. Forgive me. The do? answer's San Francisco. When Josh okay. was not oh, here, yeah. I'm sorry, Josh. I let you down, bro. That's the answer to the question. Well, I forgot. That song was so emotional. Right. Yeah. That. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> yeah. I found so myself. Distracting. Yeah. Okay. Um, we have another brand to talk about to wrap this up. It is Weird Noise. Weird Before Noise. Before that, I think I think there's probably some Hot Topics or something. Are right? there? I don't know. Hot Topics. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Hot Topics. It's the part of the show that's brought to you, but not directly brought to you by the gear page. The forum we all love to love and hate to love and love to hate. I kind of like it. Them. I like it lately. You're liking it lately? A little bit. I don't think I've ever spent more than 30 seconds that's on the why page. you're the host that's why i'm the host of this show okay y'all y'all <laughs> these selections are crispy today uh these got left in the air fryer for five minutes too long 
Oh my gosh. I don't even know where to start. Um, there's one that just says, don't believe the hype. And I don't even know what the context is. <laughs> I just, I Can love that. Can you click it and see? Yeah, I hope I'll it's about what, us. I it's hope it's uh, about us. <laughs> it's, um, I'll click on it. We'll see how, uh. We have okay, Wi-Fi. yeah, so I've, I've, I finally went into a music store to try out a number of overdrive pedals, which I've been interested in. The Boss BD-2, uh, Waza, Wampler, Tumnus, Archer, MXR, Timmy, ED Westwood. Uh, he walked away with the Boss. So um, don't believe the hype, basically, about anything fancy, play a Boss I, pedal. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I think I'm down with that. Fun. It's a good um, pedal. Um, okay, this, is a, this one's great. Okay. We're going to need to cover a couple of these quickly because there's yeah, some good it's, ones. It's good. I'm going to play uh, a little yeah. song. Right. Um, is digital getting too real? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but is it? I think that's an interesting topic. Oh, man. Is digital getting too real, you guys? <sighs> you know, I think there is a world where digital overtakes everything that we are. I just the question here though is like why isn't digital real? Yeah. So do you know what I mean? I do. It, the, the, it's it's saying digital isn't real. I mean, I get that it's probably having to do with like amp. Mod, that's model that's where they're headed stuff. with that one. It's like Mac uh, came in today okay. and and he said Addison, I took the plunge. He's I said, our repair tech. Tell me, Mac's our repair tech. He's awesome. He came in. He said I took the plunge. I said What'd you do? He said I got an HX stomp, and I was like, Bro, good for you. And he found a preset pack. That was that came with it. That he was like, it's amazing. It's an AC30 and a you know Fender and stereo and blah blah blah. And I said, you know, I lug my amp and a load box, both very heavy, back and forth whenever I play a gig. Like twice a week, I play at church sometimes, right? Twice a week, I, I take it back and forth. It's heavy, and I went, oh man, I want those tones in a in a digital box, right? Yeah. And so, is digital getting too good? If it is, you should too share. Real. Too real. That I, then. I say no, not yet. For me, no, not yet. It's I not think I think are, are people are we like a little bit scared that it's gonna get too real? I'm not scared. I love. I it. I mean, it. I love that these digital verbs are so accessible, and, and the more real it gets, the cheaper these processors are gonna come down. The digital pedals are gonna be more affordable. Yeah, let's bring it on. Yeah. Um, hey guys, is it unethical to buy an amp knowing you're gonna return it? That's that goes back to the question of have you ever bought anything at like Walmart or Target knowing you're going to return it? What is the what do you think though? Uh, is it ethical or not? That's In the, the comments, question. what do you That's think? The That's the question. Cuz I think there's a lot of times we've said on the show like mm -hmm. if you buy it and you don't like it, there's always the space to return it. But if you buy it knowing you're going to return it, is there a difference? Why would mm. you buy it knowing So I have a gig and I'm going to buy it just for the gig there to show off. Yep. Send it back to Sweetwater. <laughs> or your amp broke you down. You know people do that. Oh, absolutely. Oh, sure. Absolutely. Guitar yeah. Center, I hear that happen all the time. I've had friends that are like, yeah, my amp, like, it's at the repair tech. I went and bought one at Guitar Center, took it back after the That's gig. And I thought to myself, dang, I don't know if I would do that. That's just me. Is it ethical? I don't know. Is it right or wrong? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's a, it's, I don't think you should do it. That's that's my feeling. Addison says don't. I say don't do it. If it, yeah, I mean, from the perspective of a manufacturer slash retailer, it's like it kind of sucks. Annoying. It sucks for us because yeah. we're gonna take in an item and have to discount it, and yeah. But at the same time, if a place a lot, I don't know. I don't know. Cool. Well, that's been this episode of Hot Topics, where we share the hottest topics. There was a bunch more, but. I think I think we should end with that. Yeah. Did you guys notice the song that I wrote? Uh, oh, wow. I can't really figure out where to go with that, though. And I, I had these words. It's like, there's a tree by the brook hmm. and a songbird who sings. But I don't... You, you feel yeah. like... Could that go anywhere? Yeah, that could go somewhere. That could go somewhere. What do you think? Something about like driving a space car with Kevin yeah. and I'm driving Being a space, space car, car with, with Kevin. Kevin I think that's good that's nice okay 
What Let's else talk does about weird noise have to offer? Weird noise is from Astoria, Oregon. Cool. And uh, this pedal right here, it says what the fuzz on it, and it looks really cool. It matches this typeface. I like a good typeface. Um, this is a fuzz. It's a two silicon transistor fuzz. I think it's just a really beautiful, good old fashioned silicon fuzz face typology, probably. And it has this nice toggle. Ooh. That, yeah. That you're all about. Nick's into it. Much like reverb, toggles like that can really mask um, my lack of skills <laughs> on the guitar. Really cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Strong cure vibes. That was yeah. That was uh, what album? Disintegration, maybe. It had a little bit of that. But yeah, a little bit of that, but some of that other. I was going home one night. Yeah, that's killer. And then we have Fuzz It. So Fuzz It. So this is 140 bucks. This is 150. One knob hybrid fuzz pedal. It's actually two circuits in one. There's Whoa. a toggle. So you set to the left, it's germanium. And then you flip it to the right, and it's silicon. So let's start with germanium. It has NOS Russian transistors in it, which I really like. I actually used a few of these in some Range Master builds. I don't know what model, but yeah. And the Bonamas uh, Dunlop fuzz face that everybody raves about, those are the Russian uh, germaniums as well. So really good part. Also, like a one knob pedal. We need to do another yeah. one knob one yeah, wonders yeah, yeah, episode.
Every pedal's off. There we go. Here we go. That was the new name. <laughs> that was great. It felt good to be back, you know? Yeah. It's like it's like we weren't here for a month, and yeah. then now we're here. It is like that. Amazing. It's not even like that. It is that. We have uh, a pretty important thing here. Pretty mm-hmm. important. Patreon question corner. Yeah. 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 You excited for that? I'm excited for it. Patreon question corner. Get it? Because it's in the corner. The chair's in the corner, and there's a question mark. It's like in the corner. You it's get your it? best work yet. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. So yeah, let's let's ex- let's explain the corner here. Yeah. What, what am I about to do, guys? Let's explain this because we laid yeah. out a brand new, brand new reboot of Patreon. Yep. Which supports an intense amount of travel. Like yep. we did a. There's a lot of things no one sees, and we're always filming, documenting a lot of inventors that we're about to lose yeah. at some point. Yeah. And gathering footage, and it's expensive. <clears throat> so we ha- we've had a Patreon for a while. We have rebooted it to be even better, and yeah, we have some questions. So yeah, these yeah. Are, so if these you, are two very special people. Yeah, two two special two special kids from the Patreon. If you become a patron, what tier what tier do you get to? Um, it's tiers two, three, four, and yep. five. Yeah, yeah if yep. you join tiers two, three, four, and five, that's it. You get to submit questions to be answered on every live that we do. Yep. Um, you get to just be part of this special. Yeah, special space because you're special. So what are what are our questions? So this is from Phil Trujillo. Phil Trujillo says, "Why was the Panther Cub version two discontinued?" Yeah, why was it? <sighs> it all starts. Okay, everyone get cozy. Well, no, it's good. Uh, I like talking about discontinued pedals. The Cub <laughs> is one of my favorite pedals we've ever made. The Panther and the Cub, but it's just so freaking hard to build consistently. Um, Bucket Brigade is harder and harder to deal with, and the Cub came from the Panther. The Panther was a bigger pedal, and then we shrunk that down identically, and we made the cub and then we had a cub 1.5 which had a fix to a problem caused by those bucket brigades and then a two and basically we would build a batch of you know i don't know how many of these a year we were selling lately a lot it's actually a really good seller and that was the problem the more of these we sold we kept having to build them in larger batches and the failure rate of some of the parts is just, it just made it not worth it. I mean, we yeah. would have to charge 500 bucks, and I just don't want to do that. Right, right. That's that's what happened. Yeah. There's a lot of them on the used market. There should be. We have made a lot of those pedals. Um, so that's why that one's gone. Yeah. That and it hurts good. a little. It does. You know? R.I.P. It'll be missed. It will be missed. And it had a long run. We did yeah. that. We, it was the second ever tap tempo bucket brigade delay, the the Panther, and then the Cub Dang. came from that. So, yeah, it'll be missed. It'll anyway, be missed. there's a lot of great delays out there. We're working on a new delay. It will be just the JHS, just one delay. We actually have discontinued as well the Lucky Cap. I don't think anyone Dang. knows that as of right now. They do now. We currently have discontinued every delay we make except for the three series I played today. So the Lucky Cat and the Cub are no more. I don't know if I'm supposed to say that yet, but I said it, <laughs> and that's fine. So there's no more being produced. Dealers still have them, um, and then there will be a new boot. 2022 it'll probably honestly be fall there'll be like a new delay that'll fill it'll be our only delay it'll do the job really well and for now there's the three series for 99 bucks so the three series delay it's great is awesome yeah you don't have to have tap all the time and and i say again there are so many good delays Um, oh yeah if you really want bucket brigade it would tap the mythos oracle has been put out and he builds those there in nashville check that out uh there's other stuff too i mean diamond they've made stuff for years they have just killer delays all the strymon stuff too yeah don't get hung up on bucket brigade it does have a little thing but don't get hung up on it and uh there's also the yeah the starlight 
right? The UA Starlight. Does an amazing. Really, yeah, that has amazing yeah. sounds. And then obviously Electro Harmonics makes. You can get a tap tempo memory man. They've gone way down. Eleven hundred milliseconds. Yeah, yeah. They the had prices the prices have like plummeted. Yep. Uh, those were like in holy grail land of a like insanity, and now the prices have like normalized. So a few hundred bucks, you can get one of those. So yeah. yeah. Longest answer ever to the shortest question ever so far. Uh, and the next question from the Patreon is Rudy Lopez. When designing a pedal, how closely are pickup positions and styles taken into consideration? Some of my pedals take on radically different personalities with simple pickup position changes. How much is it by design and how much is it just the nature of pickups? I like that question. I want to do some episode content on pickups and stuff, but the simple question is when we design a pedal, drive pedals and time pedals are very different. So time pedals are like modulations and delays. The things you have to worry about with modulations and delays is that will this delay stay really clean and not get broken up in the repeats with a gold foil weak pickup or like a Jackson Dinky with active EMGs. So you got to make sure it can handle low output voltage and really high. And when it comes to drives, it's the same thing, but that's why we play different guitars. So if I want a more distorted sound out of something, I go pick up my Les Paul. That's, that's why you do that, because the pickups have a more rock and roll sound. That's why you pick up a Strat for clean, beautiful tones like chimey tones or a telecaster has its mid-rangey bridge thing so when we're designing a driver when i am i will play every guitar that really matters to it and with drive pedals like you're referring to that's part of the fun is that the pedal is designed to work really well and to take note of different guitars have different outputs, which means it'll distort less or more with other things. So I hope that's the right answer. Yeah, it's all taken into consideration. Um, I would say the buzzword for that is that a, a pedal like that is very dynamic. Um, mm. If you That's some of the problem people have with some digital things is you might pick up a guitar that um, is different than another and somehow they're the same. A little bit. I noticed that with some earlier DSP drives. It's gotten much better now. But yeah. Thanks, Phil, and thanks Ruddy. Not Buddy. I said Buddy earlier. Did you? Rudy. Rudy Lopez. Rudy Lopez. That's it. Wow. Have we, have we covered we did everything? It. We did it. I think this. we did it, you guys. It feels this good. is great. Good job, everyone. It's good to be back. Thanks for tuning in. Um la well episode this Friday, obviously. I think we'll probably do – no, we will not do a live next week. I'll be at Sweetwater um, teaching my history class. After that, we will, I believe. Yeah, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. I'm glad you won some stuff if you did. And what I said about you being a loser isn't really true. We're all winners because we're here. Yeah. Wednesday is for winners. Mm, nice. I love it's it. Deep. My all mom right. would be proud. See y'all. Bye-bye.